What's up, guys? Welcome to the day's epi. Oof. I'll tell you what, I'm, uh, I'm tired. Just had a little nap. Um, right, okay. So, for today's epi, we should have our rivals' rewards. We should have the friendlies. You know the friendly thing? Uh, the road to the final rush thing. What's it called again? Let's have a quick check. Glory Hole, something. Um, Glory Road, that's the one. God, Jesus. Um, that was close. Could have been, could have been something else. Uh, yeah, we've got this to go. We've got one game to go in this, so we'll play this during the uh, during the stream. Obviously, you won't see it on the video, because no one wants to see gameplay. Uh, but yeah, we'll play this, and we'll get ourselves a rare mega pack, and a Jumper Rare Players pack, as well as... Uh, our Rivals Rewards, which we're going to collect now. Because, you know, we will. Uh, yeah. Managed to get into Elite last night. Managed to play my games. And it was actually pretty, fairly decent, to be honest. Wasn't too, too bad. Uh, didn't go back and forth as much as I probably expected I probably would. So, not too shabby. So, I will take option two. Because it gets us the most packs, most chance of getting something decent. And we'll start before 6 o'clock then. With the uh, the player pick. The player pick. The player pick. Red pick. i got no idea who's coming out of this, so. Hey, we get that new uh, ISO card. This, actually, this guy actually looks really decent. I mean, it's, it's a real shame. I, mean, I say it's a shame. Who the hell's going to be using the Belgian school, uh, league side? But um, maybe a Japanese squad. Who knows? But yeah, it's a real shame because he actually looks really quite decent. Really good pace. Shots are all right for a right midfield. Passing's all right. Dribbling's nice. Really nice physicals, to be fair. 99 jumping and 99 stamina. That's actually quite decent. Um, his defending's not bad either. He's not bad. I mean, let's face it, the majority of these are, are terrible and probably would just go straight into a red uh, 86 pick, but we'll take him. We'll take him. He's, he's not bad, to be honest. Not bad. I can't expect we're going to get much uh, in terms of content this evening. Of course, it's Thursday. We never usually get anything in terms of great content it's usually a case of marquee matchups maybe the odd uh, sbc sometimes there's a random sbc like a party bag or, or something like that so who knows maybe we'll get some sort of form of uh, random party bag that may include every single road to the knockouts and road to the final card and you pay like 84 rate or 84 rated or 85 rated um uh, price for it and, it and we get it so we'll find out i'm just gonna back out quickly just to see if there's a if there's a loading screen because it has to hit six o'clock it may it may absolutely not no loading screen just got the same stuff i can't imagine there's a team two for this i just don't think there's enough teams to warrant a team two for this uh for this promo i'm pretty sure they're not doing a team two and it's, it's a pro surprise there's no loading screen but maybe they're just uh maybe there's lacking on the loading screen maybe there is something going to be coming tomorrow who knows <laughs> except for the loading screen it's going to take an absolute bloody age to get back in Come on, EA. Right, okay, so we're in. Let's have a look to see what we got then. Uh, so, objectives, I would imagine that nothing is here. Still got the road to the Martyrs final. I've got to try and complete that. Um, that's five squad battles matches I've got to play. Yeah. I might try and get this done. Along with Silver Beast, because I, I do have to do Silver Beast as well. So I may try and do that, see if I've got a bunch of Argentinian players 
that I can play with uh, in the uh, in the uh, in that. I've still got to do Silver Stars with the Zadaka. I've never actually looked at this card. Three star, three star, high, medium work rates. I mean, he's all right. He's not great. It could be better. Milestones, icon swaps. Let's face it, nothing new. I, I, I would imagine there's not going to be anything new here at all. And then we're going to go into squad battles, like I said before. Marky matchups definitely going to be there. Obviously, we've still got Mason Mount. <laughs> I might do him. I actually watched a review for him. They said uh, that he wasn't too bad. It's Thief Round this video if you want to go watch it. Uh, it was a review of him and said he was alright. But then again, he said that Divokarigi was, uh, wasn't as great. Whereas I saw his Zwayback's review on Divokarigi and he thought he was really good. Uh, but Zwayback likes the weird players, doesn't he? <laughs> um, oh, an 84 plus player pick. So that is their weird content for tonight. Unfortunately, it's not uh, repeatable. It is an 82 rated squad with two team of the weeks and a 65 rated chem uh, squad. We shall look to do that in a second. And then, of course, we've got marquee matchups. Have I just, I'll check that in a second. I just want to find out. Now, I don't think they would have added any leagues, personally. They haven't. Have they added icons randomly on a Thursday? No. A couple have disappeared. I noticed that there's uh, there's a few missing from that bunch. I'm still in two minds whether to finish off, uh, off Haji. If, if I don't finish this one off, I wouldn't lose really much. I mean, I've just done two bronze, a bronze squad and a silver squad. An 82 rated with a team of the week foot champions. A team of the week foot champions and an 83 rated squad. To do the rest... Which is an 84 and an 85. And an 85 rated team is around about 55k. Uh, an 84 rated side. Probably in the region of around about 40 to 45k. So about about to say 90 to 100k to finish this off. <sighs> Who knows. Depends on what fodder we get out of our out of our packs. So what we're going to do. Is we're going to go open any initial packs that we've got. Uh, minus of course the mid of prime icon pack. That will be at the end of the video. Uh, and then we will go play that last friendly game that we have now that our refresh is here. We do get a flames out of the two, two way goals, so that's going to be Sebastian Coates, who didn't have a great time the other night against Manchester City when they lost 5 0. Uh, well, we'll take that. Open up the next one. Obviously, I didn't think we were going to get much from these two. Two red gold backs, I should say. How weird is that? And the, the two face cards are both from Sporting. I'm guessing Paulina played in that as well. That's weird that that's put the middle prime icon pack there. Nearly opened that by mistake. Nearly did a pie. Rare players pack. Absolutely nothing. Flames. Don't tell me. You've got to be joking. Same face card. Oh, look at that. Why could I not get these cards as tradables? They're worth like 13k each. That would have been 24k worth of cards. Uh, whereas at the moment, they're j about as useful as just normal rares. Uh, so we'll just have to get rid of Sebastian Carter. I'm not going to do anything with him. Maybe I'll get something in this rare players pack. It's a shame that they're not minimum rated. Another Flames. Great. Uh, Kyle Walker, though. That's not too bad. 85 rated. It's not too shabby. Maybe something decent. But let's see. Again, another one of these Man of the Match cards. And a, and a, a Team of the Week card as well. That would have netted me around about 24k. <laughs> Maybe 25k. Um, can't do anything with them. Those two were, were terrible. I'm really hoping that the, the Jumbo Rare Players Packs actually have something much better to uh, behind them. We do get a walkout in one of the Jumbo Rares. It's going to be Ruben Diaz. So, it's not too shabby. But Rashford as well with Mertens. We don't have any Rares. Uh, sorry, um, Duplicates. 
which is interesting. A lot of these, I mean, the good thing is, taking these as well, um, the amount of players we've got out of this, we are going to do uh, some player picks as well to see if we can bag anything. Uh, see if we can manage to get one of these UCL cards. Wow, not even a walkout for the next Jumbo Rares. PK. That's awful. That is awful. Yet again, though, not a single duplicate card. Just goes to show you how clean my club is at the moment. So quickly, let's go over then to... Uh, we won't do player picks just yet because we've got to go look at the marquee matchups. We'll go do the 84 plus player pick uh, next just to get rid of some stuff. So let's have a look at what team of the weeks we've got. Team of the week. So we're going to use the two. Well, I don't know if Sainsbury will work, but we'll take him anyway just to get rid of him. We've actually got a healthy number of... Uh, of these cards at the moment, which is nice. And then we may have to focus on Bundesliga because of, I mean, that Sainsbury is not going to work because well, I don't even know what league he's from. Oh, he's from the Belgian league. <coughs> Did not know that. Throw him over there. Uh, Aaron Gies is going to have to go in. Maybe I should focus on a different league. Ooh, okay. We'll leave. We'll, we'll take Aaron Keys away. We will focus on a different league. Let's have a look. We'll see what else we've got. Uh, obviously, Kyle Walker's there, but we don't want him. So we'll take Mario Fernandez. And this is where we try and cut it off from the rest of it. So, Martin Odegaard. Prem's like likeliest choice here, and I know for a fact there's going to be like marquee matchups: Liverpool versus Chelsea. And I'm I'm going kind to of, uh, stupidly gone and put loads of Premiership players in this, but let's face it: this is this is the, the more sought after uh, SBC. I'll just go buy whatever I need for that other one. Can I get away with just putting in Callum Wilson? I cannot get away with that because of this uh, this centre back here so what do I have in terms of a premiership player that I could possibly put in Joel Matip who I was so desperate to get yesterday rather than pay out for him and I've now got him right there you go here's the 84 plus player pick then we got ourselves uh, rid of these the two worst team of the weeks I've got which is nice let's hope that we can bag something good out of this. I hardly ever pack anything decent out of these player picks. So packing something decent would be nice. And Luis Suarez is my best player. Nice fodder. That's about it really. That's about it. That's unfortunate. That is very unfortunate. So we're going to go over. And hopefully it's saving the luck for my icon pick. Icon pack I should say a little bit later on. But I know what my luck is with icon packs. If you watched the, the video, you, I knew, I knew, look at, ooh, you. I knew they were going to do that. Liverpool versus Chelsea. The good thing is I've kept a Liverpool player. I don't know if I've got any more Chelsea players, but. Um, right, we'll start off with Feyenoord then. So we, we, the Feyenoord versus AZ. Uh, you need one Eredivisie player. Actually, no, I always like to start from the top. So let's start from the top. It was creation, but me questioning myself whether or not he was because I couldn't see him anywhere. But there you go. So there you go. So the prime premium gold players pack from that. Then we're open that now. We'll obviously, go open these as we go along. Flames out of this creation sent back. Jesus Christ! It's Sebastian Coats three times during this. Three times. Um, can't get away from the bugger. There you go, got bronze in there. Sweet. That'll do that. Right, so that's that next one done. So that's a prime Electrum players pack with a guaranteed of 80 plus. Ooh, it's 80 plus, all right. It's taps over. 81 rated. Oh, yay, you're spoiling us. 
Ooh, that's not too bad. We do get 14k then. Billy Gilmore. Is he going for anything above that? 14 and a half. I don't know if whether it's even worth it. No. So we just get rid of him. Uh, did we get anything decent out of that? Germany and a France silver. Done. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be much worse than it actually was. So, um, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack, 15k pack. God. Marky Mashups does, does, does not like me. Just give me something decent. Jesus. It's no wonder nobody watches my videos. I don't pack anything decent on them. That one was really easy. So we've got a gold players pack. We've got ourselves uh, the marquee matchups top pack, which of course is a prime gold players pack. We'll go open that. I mean, that's the content done for today. We'll go open that, and then we'll go quickly on that uh, friendlies, uh, that friendlies pack. We'll go open those, and then we're open the mid icon, and that is for today's content. We do get ourselves... Finally, something is Jared Bowen. We do already have him, but thankfully, I think this is out of the tradable pack. So that's very nice. Finally, something pays out. And it's the, it's the worst pack out of the whole, whole of marquee matchups that actually pays off. Get Mendy in there as well. Jared Bowen. I love the fact... That, <laughs> look, at the, look at the price range it is for him for buying now. It's 240k. Then you go in and you think... Wow, 22k, 20k. That is cheap. That is a cheap card. You know what? I'm not even going to sell him. I'm going to put him on the bench. Uh, sorry, the transfer list. <clears throat> when I go and do another SBC, he can come back in uh, and he can go into to, into an SBC because that's, that's a joke price for him. An 86 rated card, I'd rather keep him and and put them into something else. So the prime gold players pack, the main pack then. We do get ourselves a big team of the week. Japan is Ito again. So we got him earlier on. Uh, in our in our red pick reward. So that's another one. Always good to have these. We do get Fry as well. We got him earlier on. We were saying that we wanted to get rid of him to get some more coins in the club. That's at least 14k back again. That's really good. Now, how much can we get rid of Ito for? Uh, yeah, I mean, around about 20, about 24k, I reckon. I'd say 23 and a half, just to be sure. So that's a nice little money earner. That's not too bad. We get a Malinkovic Savage in there as well. And we've got the 14k. That has not been bad. That's not been bad at all for that. So, as I said, I've got to go away to go play the last game of this. Hopefully, I can do it in one game. If not, we'll see. In the meantime, uh, you can have to take a look at the 83 times 25 pack we opened yesterday after we, after we finished doing our yesterday's video. Um, and you can watch the 84 times 25 pack that we got from doing our icon swaps. I'll be back in a bit. What's up, YouTube? So, I completely forgot to do this on yesterday's video. So, I'm recording it on the same day as recorded yesterday's video, but I'm putting it into today's video. So, I have done icon swaps enough for the 83 times 25 pack. Now, I could wait. To open it until we get like a proper new like promo but I've heard rumors of the next promo I don't think this will be any benefit to this promo so maybe so I'm gonna open it here and hope we can pack ourselves a road to the final card if not then maybe we'll get some high rated fodder to put into an icon pack uh, I don't think they put a... Oh, no, they have. They think of everything these days. So we're going to throw all of these in here. And we're going to throw this. And we're going to get the 83 times 25 Like I said, we're going to hope that we get one of the high-rated 
uh, UCL cards, Road to the Final cards. I don't really particularly care for any of the any of the, uh, the Europa League cards or the Conference League cards. And what I don't hope is I don't hope I don't get any of the cards I've got. So I've already got an Alex Tejas and I've already got himself an Alexi Sanchez. So hopefully we can avoid that. Hopefully we can get some absolutely huge fodder to help us with an icon pack. So here we go. The 83 times 25 pack. Can it be good for us? Wow, what that that's a that's a strange card to start it off with. The domestic man of the match, Romero. Now, I would imagine this comes out before UCL cards like anything else does these days. Don't understand why they do it. Surely the, the, the latest promo should be the biggest thing. But hey ho. Maybe this cheeky dangler is behind this. It's a shame that he's uh he's not worth anything. Doesn't actually look like a bad card. Is there something behind this? Wow. I'm set I'm set for team of the weeks. Um unfortunately, we only get one walkout uh in a normal gold. Can there be something over here? Oh my god, that's a terrible 83 times 25 pack then. That is not great, guys. That is not great. Uh we do get the Kieran Trippier uh, Newcastle card. He's finally a Newcastle player on that card. But up from that, that's that's pretty shoddy to be fair. So um yeah, back to the rest of the video. <laughs> well, guys, we only needed one victory, literally 12 minutes and 50 seconds into our first friendly game of the night, and we managed to bag two goals uh, to, to to get the win. We're going to show you one, uh, which, of course, is a great pass by, I think it was Giorgino in the end, and a great chip by, by Kenny Dalglish to get us the dub. That's brilliant over and done with. I do not have to play this friendly mode anymore. I've got to say, I've actually enjoyed the friendly mode. It hasn't actually been that bad. I like the uh, the limited wins. Obviously, I, I would like there to be a little bit more in terms of a, a some stipulations, maybe. Maybe it's in a certain type of uh, friendly mode, like it's in uh, Max Chemistry, or maybe it's in something else. Uh, that's that would make it quite interesting. Maybe, of course, if they they give you like you have to use uh, a certain amount of uh, players from a certain nation, maybe a certain amount of players from a certain league or something like that. That would make it more, far more interesting because at the moment it is, of course, everyone's best possible team that they can throw in, which is good. I mean, I used my best possible team; it was good. Uh, and we, we managed to get this done very quickly. We've still got, I think, like, there's like seven days left on this. And we've done it in like half the time. So I didn't lose very many games of this. So it is a very good uh, idea. Very good concept. I do like it. So we will go open these 10. We'll go open some player picks after that. So we get a guaranteed 83 plus in this one. Let's see if we get anything decent. Just a flame, nothing else. Argentinian left wing is going to be a Campos, who of course we got earlier on. Anything? I mean, there's nothing that really can pop out of this. It's going to be decent. Look, oh, a crummy team of the week. And uh, yeah, just a bunch of other stuff. So nothing really to shout about there. Jumbo Red Players Pack, considering the fact it's got a plus 84 plus. Can we get something out of that? Please. Okay, we got a walkout. It's Kimmich. It is Kimmich. I don't know whether or not you can still. I don't know whether gold cards count. You know, apparently uh, other cards turn up from promos further down the line. I don't know if that works with gold cards. But Kimmich is some nice fodder. I suppose maybe if we get anything rubbish out of the uh, today's prime icon pack, mid prime icon pack, we could probably go start another one. Um. Wow, that's a big leap down from an 89 to just 83 straight away. And we get that Fry again as well. That's a bad, bad, bad shame again because, again, he's, he's 14K that I'm just going to have to throw away. Um, Fortunes and Beibu. We'll go throw these in our first player pick. Hopefully, first one could be decent. Not really. <laughs> Could have done with Reese James earlier. 
Uh, we'll take uh, we'll take Reese James actually. It, it does really matter. They're both going to go into uh, a player pick. Why not? Second player pick. Can it be anything decent? Hoiberg or Piatek? I'm going to take Hoiberg in this instance. Hopefully we can and we get Edison Cavani as our best player out of that. That's not too bad. That's a decent fodder. Player pick number four. Not great at all, really. Not great at all. I'll take Fabianski because goalkeeper is quite rare to get hold of uh, in this. Right, last player pick then for the video. Let's see if we can bag a bagger. Absolutely not. Take Max. Get rid of him. And we will go over to the store. Now I'm going to turn off the monitor over here. I'm going to bring over uh, old King Kenny. Please don't be King Kenny out of this. Because I don't want him. <laughs> so we're going to open our mid to prime icon pack. We'll do a stat reveal like I said. Go. He's, uh, he's coming out. God knows who he is. Now, I believe it's uh, play details is that. And we need to go. Oh, it's already on attribute details. Okay, so. God, please. I mean, I don't mind if it's a goalkeeper. Obviously, Edison Cavani. Edison Cavani? Where the hell did I get that from? Edward van der Zaar would be better. Would be a, a great one to pack it. Uh, Yashin would be great as well. Um, so if it's a goalkeeper, that's not too bad. Um, but pff, let's hope it's not. So is it a goalkeeper? It's not a goalkeeper. Physicals aren't great, to be fair. I mean, stamina's not too bad. It was like 88. Uh, jumping's not too bad. But strength and aggression aren't great. Defending is terrible. So we are looking at a forward player. It's got very good... It's got decent heading accuracy. I wouldn't say very good heading accuracy. It's got decent heading accuracy. But it is a it is a forward player. With 90 dribbling. That isn't bad. I mean, it could be terrible, to be fair. 88 passing is alright as well. 93 shooting. See, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking to myself, this could be someone decent, but I know it's going to be someone terrible. 93 pace. Who have we got? Oh, damn! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, that's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Eusebio. Oh, that's an absolute banger of a, 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 an icon pack. I never get good icon packs. This is clearly, out of all the icon packs that I've done this year on FIFA, this is by far the best one. An absolute banging pull. Let me just put my monitor back on. Just so I can see this in all its glory. Let's, uh, let's have a look at him then. Oh! Oh, I have you, Savio. Four star, five star. High, medium work rates. He's just a banging card, really, isn't he? He's just a banger of a card. Finally, I have an absolute brilliant, brilliant card. I actually haven't checked. I haven't checked his price. I don't even know what this card goes for. 1.6 million. Well, 1.5 goes down to... so. I did say, didn't I? We weren't getting anything in any of the other packs realistically. I mean, Jared Bowen was the other one we got in the pack. But finally, our icon packs have paid off. And I and I have to thank, it was the chat, yes, uh, I think it was yesterday actually we started this. And it was the chat that said, um, you know, I did say, should I do a prime, middle prime icon pack? And, you know, they did say, oh, go on, do it for the culture. And, uh Thank God we decided to go and, and do this one. So, we have Eusebio. Banging pool. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. We did 
uh, enjoyed the video, do leave a like. Uh, if you do want to come back for more, do consider subscribing. If you do want to come watch us live, it's twitch.tv forward slash Ringo. Gringo, everything is down there to where all my socials are uh, in the video. I will see you in the next one for whatever promo's next. Bye.